<laughs> so it is a pretty wet day today, guys. <laughs> we had decided to go to a garden centre anyway, so I don't think we'll be looking at the plants outside. What do you think? No. You might. I won't be. No, not yet. We're going to a garden centre called Bent's. If you're familiar with the area, you'll know you'll know Bent's. But we haven't been there for ages since. Um, yeah, so we haven't been to Bent's for quite a while, so we thought we'd just go there and see what's different. So luckily, we picked a nice day for it, really. Yeah. They are, they do have pretty decent food there. Cakes are pretty good. So we're gonna head off to Bent's now. And and then we might call Costco on the way back. And stuff our faces. Yeah. So here we are, we're just waiting to go into the other bin. They've got these schmores kit, there's a Mega XL kit, toffee kit. Things? Just because it says biscuits. Why is it got, oh, toffee. Yeah, toffee, and then there's the massive ones. What is. The ones that are uh, chocolate dip trays. Then they got little portable burners, a bit like what we've used. Also yeah, it's a portable burner. Hey. We've got lots of lovely looking desserts and had some really good looking donuts. But I would like to say if we'll get any. Look at these biscuits. They look well now. They're quite nice. They're quite nice. Not that. And here's those caramel things that they seem to like really like the some of these. Oh wow. So maybe all. I thought you could always try the one ninety nine ones. Is that the same with the other same size? Yeah. It's like a smaller version. I know, do you just feel it? You might as well go for the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you don't like here? Sticky toffee pudding, ginger pudding, chocolate pudding. Oh, there's so many naughty temptations here. have got the medium size one. I know, it's a shame. And then you've got these cake mixes. Oh, is that a cake? Yeah. Well, that's probably a brownie one. No. But it's a cake. Does it say cake? Does it say on the That's rainbow brownie shake? Oh, it's a shake? What is a shake? Is it like a drink? So it seems you just add water and. Well, that's our cakes anyway. Yep. Not sponsored. Good stuff, cake. Oh, yeah, okay. Got lots of Lancashire parking. I do like parking, but Aaron doesn't. Plumbra. I like it when it's free. Yeah. Lots of cordials. I don't know if it's. It's a nice, bread. I think the box has been opened. I know, it doesn't like being touched though. Might just be the way the box is. Would you eat this though? I would. But I just don't know. I know, I don't. I'll be showing all the cordials. Yeah, lots of cordials. They got. I don't know if we should get cordials. Landy Lambert. I like the idea of the. There's so many different. Flavours of cordial. Sarsaparilla, like because Aaron's a sassy kind of guy. Now we're at Aaron's other favourite part, the alcohol part. There's so many bougie. It's like this Willy Tonka, which is <laughs> chocolate and vanilla. But look at these flavours. Electric Bugaloo. Marshmallow, yeah. rhubarb and custard. Oh, I definitely want to try one of these. I don't know which one though. 
And then there's all these here as well, there's peanut butter. So much. But yeah, there's so many good looking things to eat and drink. Throw away like this. Sing it out, style. Cast off beer layer. Watermelon wheat beer. Yeah, we're going to have to find a basket. Yeah, well. And on the way in, they have this thing that's covered in artificial grass. If you want a gazebo made out of grass, it's nearly $17,000. A large burr, which you can see there for just over seven. I got a little bit, little bit wet running from the car. We did get stuff from the food hall that looked really good, but we'll show you when I get home. Now going to find Aaron. He will be around wherever the candles will be. <laughs> oh, so after me getting absolutely drenched after dropping off our stuff from the food court and oh, got ourselves an air fryer and that. And we will probably show you a bit more what we got when we get. Have they seen the uh, donuts? I think I showed. I don't know if they know we got them. We're going to have one of these donuts now where we just talk about yeah, they our do experience. Look amazing. <laughs> yeah, I got wet running back to the. They're big. These are big. And I would, we'll have to read about it more sometime. We have Planet Dough enough to the look amazing. Amazingly messy. Yeah, oh gosh, you know what to say how. Huh? I'll have this one. You can, so the, the do look, I don't know, it almost looks like bread, it's so... Dense. Well, it's just texture, and it's just so big. But yeah, Yes, we, we were put ourselves hoping. in like a virtual queue, didn't we, for? Yeah. Because we've been to here lots of times before all the lockdowns and all the social distancing. And we used to just head up to the counters, mm. choose what you want. But we put ourselves in the virtual queue and we didn't realise that the amount of menu had been reduced so much. And they were basically just doing sandwiches and salads. But at Bent's, you do sort of pay a premium for the everything you get. Because mm. it is all pretty fancy and nice. But, but yeah, we just were really flawed when we found out it was just salads and sandwiches. Because and... he gave us the menus and sat us down. And we thought, oh yeah, well he's going to give us a menu, but we can just go up like we used to and pick up like a... You could just go up as usual, but all the hot food area, it was totally blocked off. You couldn't head that way. We just weren't mentally in the place for a salad and a sandwich. Mm. So we ended up just coming out. And We're so used to the delicious food that you used to do there. So yeah, we don't know what any of these flavours are. I'm guessing this is some sort of toffee. <laughs> it's good though, mm. isn't it? Because even though it looks like it's really thick, the donuts. It helps it so it's not too sweet. It's almost like it's more of a, a bun than a donut, isn't it? Mm. Like a nice fluffy bread. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. But unfortunately we're just deflated after our experience. <laughs> Obviously it's not their fault, but we just didn't expect. Especially because like, all the restrictions have been lifted and that you just thought just understand them wanting to manage the amount of people going into the food hall at once, but we yeah, just didn't see anything like to warn us that the menu was reduced. But then we did go out for a meal last night, and that was a reduced menu was there as well, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Maybe it's to do with the fact that, you know, so many staff aren't in work mm -hmm. still, or... But yeah, unfortunately, we've not really eaten out that much since the whole start of it, so 
look at all of that. We are quite naive when it comes to what things are like. Yeah. So yeah, luckily the donuts. Planet Donuts, yeah. Mm-hmm. Planet Donut, go, go check them out. They look, they look amazing and they taste really good. We'll have to look on their website actually and see like what the flavours were. Or uh, where um, else sells them. Hmm. So yeah, we're just going to snip to Costco. Let's <laughs> see if we can pick up maybe a hot dog or something. Because <laughs> we've, still seen. yeah, have you told them what we've brought? We're just going to save it for surprise. We'll say, I think I've mentioned the air fryer whilst we were in there. Yeah. But we'll show you properly what we've got. And we are quite excited because lots of people go on about air fries. Don't yeah, so I just want to see how good they actually are because people love them. But yeah, if only someone had made a video of what it's like at Bent's at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We didn't get as much footage as we were hoping, and we didn't get anything in the cafe just because we were so floored yeah. by it. But it is an amazing place to go and shop around, it's like... It's, if it wasn't for the fact that we'd already bought so much sweet stuff, like the dough. Could have had a cake, because it's all like the lemon meringue cakes, they're so nice, but... but I just, we just felt that, because we'd already got so much sweet stuff already, that it would be a bit counterproductive to then get something sweet again. So onwards and upwards to yeah. Costco. Off to Costco, we'll probably not get anything exciting there, but if something amazing happens, we'll let you know. Try and vlog it or let you know. <laughs> We're back. Hey guys. So, hey. Hey. So um, as you can see, the elephant in the room. Yeah, we got ourselves an air fryer. Um, but we picked up a few other things. This isn't a too good to go wall, just in case. Man. And it looks like the usual stance that we have for a too good to go. But from Costco. Yeah, from Costco we got ourselves some flaming chicken tenders. We're gonna air fry them. Well, yeah, I like the idea of air frying them. See if that it works. From Ben's Garden Centre, I got myself some patch. So much good stuff in Ben's Garden Centre, don't they? The yeah, like, food hall. We didn't really venture into the yeah, garden. Well, you know all about. The food hall, don't you? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From Costco, we got ourselves. This is really nice. It was so yummy. Heavenly hummus. Hopefully, you can make that out. Okay. Ramona's heavenly hummus with jalapeno. Got a, a lemon drizzle cake from Costco for. Oh, lemon <laughs> drizzle cake <laughs> from Costco for my parents. Because <laughs> they like that lemon drizzle cake, don't they? They sure do. And as you've already seen, we got. Some donuts, they weren't quite as squished as that when we got yeah, them. But the first one we had was really good. Yeah. So I'm contemplating the rest will be pretty good as well. They'll be just okay. And <laughs> now they were they were really nice. We've got ourselves to go with the hummus. Yeah, we thought they'd be nice for dipping in. Yum yum yum. Even though we got them before we got the hummus from Yeah, Boston. but we already had some other hummus. Yeah. We've got ourselves this. Sticky toffee apple crumble. I'll have to stick that in the air fryer. Mm-hmm. That was actually going in the air fryer, I think. Yeah. Stick that in never, the fridge. Never heard of a toffee apple crumble, but it sounds nice. And then the rest is liquidy. So, oh yeah. We got so some here. peanut butter stout. That sounds interesting. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Aaron got this. That looks nice. Move on, because I don't know if you can see it. I know it seems quite light. It's not that light, I'd say. Move on, custard. We got electric boogaloo, which is passion fruit flavored beer. And then we got some cordials. So we got Sarsaparilla. I don't know if I like sarsaparilla, but he likes the sound. I like the idea of it, but yeah. I don't know what it's like. And some sour cherry, red grape, and hibiscus. And then finally, strawberry and kiwi. Mm. So hope, we'll probably mention as we go along trying these things what we thought of them all. Yeah, yeah. The, donut, the first donut we had was yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So hopefully the rest of it's going to be yummy, 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 yummy too. So, turns out sarsaparilla's not really a vibe. <laughs> You've got that can of either way. No, it just has like a medicinally aniseedy. Yeah. For people that don't know what it tastes like, it's very aniseedy. 
I don't know if it says on it or anything about it. No, I'm not sure. So they say for best results. But I did have some of this. Have it with sparkling in the water or try it hot. I did have some of the sour cherry and that's a lot better. Uh, yeah. It's just warming up the air fryer before we start trying to fry.